We are going on another food adventure, but we have a problem. As most of you know, we take lots of pride in our videos and we try to make every single episode as intriguing as possible. This means we could barely keep up with uploading one video a week. And it also means whenever we travel, our videos stop until we could get back and edit them again. Now, that all sounds well and good until we notice that YouTube algorithm has not been particularly kind to us. The moment we miss a single upload, the algorithm grinds to a halt and stops recommending us to potential viewers and that translates to abysmal views. So, that means we have to churn out one video a week to hopefully convince YouTube to recommend us to audiences again. However, there is no way for us to keep the same quality vlog with the same length while we are travelling. We just do not have the time. So I guess, that's good. Until it occurred to me that this is the perfect opportunity to connect better with you guys. What if we introduce a new mini-series, sort of like a 5-minute episode kind of series, where we showcase to you things that we normally don't do on our main food vlogs. Perhaps some footage of us doing groundwork behind the scenes, sneak peek of some food spots we'll be featuring, even recommending some snacks not in our main vlogs. This is essentially a teaser series before the main episodes launch, and we're calling it Behind the Plate. Welcome to episode 1. Alright, it's actually not our first day in Tokyo, it's our second day. Uh, that's because yesterday we were so tired when we arrived, we basically slept in the hotel for the whole day and ate just bentos. Today is where the work starts, we're going to start our groundwork, starting with my favourite ramen store in the whole world, Nakuyu. I'm really excited because I've not had Nakuyu for, for 3 years, my god. The tantamen, I can begin to smell it now in my mind. But we have a problem, we don't know how long we have to wait because they open at 11am and now it's nearly 11. Normally for a ramen store of this calibre, you gotta arrive 2 hours beforehand to get in on the first sitting. So we'll see. Hey guys, we have arrived at Nakuyu. <laughs> and I was right, we are late and yes. What? 30 hours. 30 hours before you front of us. It's gonna take a while, I think. An hour and a half, maybe. Still the same egg, man, right? Is this still the best? Mm. Oh. This can't say this is as good as we were made to be. Let's go. It's more than an egg mayo, isn't it? Dawson's egg mayo sandwich. It cannot be just egg and mayo. I'm salt. You almost taste that they added more lemon. Maybe some show you. It's just different, uh, yeah. Really good egg mayo sandwich for our company. But it's not the best. But the egg mayo inside is very good. Hey guys, after about 2 hours we are finally here. It looks exactly as I remember it. <sighs> it smells really really good. I can't wait to start. Alright guys, more more of trip. Let's begin. <laughs> After three long years, I finally reunited with my ramen first love, Nakriyu. That was an absolutely heartwarming meal. Now, there's another spot that we have to check out today. They sell some really famous udon. And we're gonna drop by, visit them, and also ask them whether they allow us to take videos because apparently some shops in Japan don't allow video taking because they don't want their patrons to be disturbed. Yes, 
Anyway, hey guys, they do allow video cameras here. We just have to be really careful with not filming the patrons on the sides. The tables are really close. This is a really good udon, it's so chewy. Mm. Okay, we're gonna come back and film this proper. Mm. I'm gonna tell which store yet because you know that's for the main episode. So, there you go. That was some great udon. However, here is the twist. While we're paying out, I rechecked with the lady to confirm filming on the actual day. And she told me that actually she's not that sure because her boss is not around. So apparently, the boss might or might not allow us to film on the day itself. So let's see if we get lucky on that day. If not, then I guess we have missed the opportunity to show you some really great udon. Anyway, we're gonna grab some snacks now. There's this place that we always grab our waffles. It's called Mr. Waffles. So let's grab some waffles. Hey guys, so we got the waffle. It's a Belgian waffle and we got the apple flavored one. It's about 190 yen for its size. Not the cheapest. But anyway, you can see over here there are some sort of glazing up top. I think it's maybe some sort of sugar. And oh, it smells pretty nice. I can smell a little bit of the hints of apple. Anyway, let's go, man. Oh, mm. Okay, on the first bite, the first thing you get is sweetness. I think it's sweetness from the glazed sugar up top. And then you get a bit of that big fragrance of what you would normally get from waffles. And then, I was originally struggling to find the flavour of the apple, but it starts slowly flowing in. And that flavour, oh it's beautiful. Oh, this is actually really good. I don't know if you can hear, there's a little bit of crisp on the surface. It's got a nice, bitey, chewy texture. It's good. I think for 190 yen, it's pretty worth it. You should try this out. Mm. Oh, they have this, I think. They have like dried apples inside. And it gives you this acidity with sweetness. Yeah, it's very good. It's actually very good. But because now it's so cold, like, Nearly a couple of minutes after buying it, it has turned cold and it's starting to harden. So you gotta eat it quickly. But this is really gonna be difficult for us to do like street food style. It's so cool! Goodness! And we're gonna see how we're gonna make it work in the real, like the proper episodes coming up. Anyway, I think that's it for today. Uh, this is the amount of groundwork we're gonna do. We're still really tired, we're gonna go back and rest. And I don't know, we'll see why it's really cool anyway. Yep, so yeah, yeah, we're gonna finish this. Bye. So I guess this is the end to our first mini-series. We're gonna finish our dinner now. Hope it's sort of interesting. I do apologize for this really short episode and this introduction of a new mini-series because we just really have to make sure that we have a consistent upload while we are traveling so that the algorithm doesn't murder us. Hope yeah. you enjoy. Yeah, hope you enjoy. If you did, do consider giving us a thumbs up. If you had to subscribe, do consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell button. We will see you next week, it will be another mini episode. We will be filming by then, so you will see more of the behind the scenes and probably a really hectic and busy running around schedule while we are filming. I'm excited to show it to you guys, hopefully it's not too messy. <laughs> so see you next week. Bye bye.